This is going to be an update on the furniture I restored not long ago. You may be wondering why the speakers are gone. Long story short, I listed this on the internet a couple weeks ago and recently somebody hit me up saying, yo, I have the same exact furniture and I, everything is restored. I have the radio player working and everything. The only problem I have is that the speakers are blown. And I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if that's fixable. And I can't find the original speakers anywhere. He's like, if it's possible, could you send me your speakers and I pay you for it? And out of the kindness of my heart, I can tell he's really like a passionate person about antique stuff. Like I'm passionate about cars and tech. I told him, yeah, I'm very understanding of your situation. I'll gladly sell you the speakers. And so I did. I sold them to him and shipped it out. He's really happy with the decision I've made. And it's a basically a win-win situation. But another winning part of the situation, well, event, is that recently an old guy messaged me saying that he wanted to buy this for his house because it looks really nice and it matches along with everything in his house, a local guy. And he really wanted to use this so he could put the TV on top of it. Just like a TV stand. Because it fits a big TV. And then he doesn't care about the speakers or anything like that. But how I'm going to fix the holes is going to be pretty funny. I'm going to get... What's it called? A blouse or some shit like that? So, I asked my mom, uh, is there anything in the house that could replace like the original thing I had right there? And this is the closest thing I came up with for free because I'm not putting any money down into this. So basically what I did was I cut a blouse, an old blouse that has a really good texture and design to it. And let's see where it says. Yeah, old baby. LOL. So, what I'm going to do with this now, is I'm going to cut it, staple it, and tape it to the cardboard box, and then nail down the cardboard box to the back, and let's see how that looks like. So I'm going to cut the video, and I'll be back. Now this is the final outcome. I temporarily stapled and taped the blouse to the thing. But now it's all nailed down. I also got the cardboard installed in the back. So now it's strong. It doesn't bulge in on both sides. And I'm going to show you the back side. As you can see, I don't know if you could see some glares of the nails. That's a nail right there. There's a couple more rounds kind of hidden right there as well. Yeah, and there you have it. It's a win-win-win situation. It's going to be a loss for the original person who had it because I got it for free. And I made money out of it. I mean, I'm not a, like, a big passionate person about antiques. I do like antiques. But hey... Somebody really wanted the speakers. I really didn't care because I was missing most of the system that's important. So I wanted to help him out. Like now he's really happy and he gave me a review. I'm gonna show you the review of what he left me. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos and see you guys soon.